I try not to bore you to death. Um, how does it work? Yeah, the, the, the presentation will be about Colossus Wizardry, a LARP we did um, a few weeks ago. Um, I'm presenting it, basically uh, the LARP is made by Lifeform and Roles Isbriken from Denmark. It's an international pro project and one more small, small rule, I tend to speak quite fast. With the, the plenty of time, if I'm too fast, show me. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to, trying to fix the problem with the trailer here. I believe it's not this uh, pilot. So, dum 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 dum. Fix the pizza at the time. How do you feel, by the way? Do you like the pizza? No. Oh, slower. Sorry. Do you like the pizza? I like it. We like it. Yeah. Okay, so the, the technical problems are only a little obstacle. We can fix now. Um, yeah. Who of you has heard already about Coach Wizardry? No, not uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who of you has already heard about College of Wizardry? Sounded perfect. Um, I will. <laughs> Um, I, will, I will present uh, it's a very short presentation, but only the movie starts to work. It will. Presentation. Yep. Yes. So, can I have attention, please? like the uh, movie, make the cosmic joke. Um, <clears throat> so now the presentation. Oh, no, it's not this one, this one. So, um, every week we can have a dream. A dream to make, yes, of course it's a lot, so it has, it has to be a dream, one division or something like this. Um, a dream about doing a LARP, the whole world will hear about. Okay, no, actually the idea was to do Harry Potter. <laughs> yes. Harry Potter like this guy or this guy, but without Harry Potter, but for as well other people in other um, setting. So we had to create a LARP. A LARP is cool. For grown ups. Like these guys here. Um, not really castle. Like this one here. Easy, right? <laughs> well, um, I believe people um, believe or understand easy things better than um, very complicated, sophisticated, um, long stories about we want to do this immersive experience in a blah 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 blah. We can do um, miles of text about the LARP. If you can put it in this short words, somebody will hear about it and somebody will believe it. Um, this idea is quite old. It started like one half or two years ago, when we were talking in our little, um, little uh, Latin ranks and Latin, Latin group, it, it like to do a Harry Potter LARP in a very, very nice castle. Somewhere there on the Polish-Czech um, German border, 
And everybody told him us, nah, I can't do it, it's too expensive. So we asked the prices, oh well, it's hard, but we could try it. But still, his post players aren't that rich at the moment, so we can get uh, like 200 players paying over 1000 zloty. So we had to open it up. And the idea somehow developed, and developed, we made some first story drafts, some first characters, and I hate my mic here, sorry. Okay, we had some first drafts, and after some time, we went to blue the pocket. And dream became true. <laughs> With one idea, two beer, and three, three weeks of intensive, intensive work. Um, well, actually, it was um, this uh, amount of things. The idea was to Harry Potter Castle for grown-ups. It's easy. The two beer were quite expensive. It was in Sweden, so beer is expensive there. I recommend you bring, bring your own alcohol to go to the Punkt. Um, and the three weeks of time we needed with Klaus to start with the idea as Major Potter to get all the filled in place spilled. Because um, we sold um, all the spaces within 20 hours the first time. The second time it um, only last 90 seconds. Um, so yes, we somehow managed to um, create a design document the document of Klaus, which was very different from our idea. The Polish group wanted to do it in, in, in Hogwarts, then we created a uh, culture wizardry, and it was different, made it more open and to make it uh, understandable and attractive for uh, players from, I know, thank you, um, from different places and so on. We had to create a new school, also not to violate some laws with one of others and so on, and we did. We did a lot which was open for international cooperation. We did together with uh, Sila Dolk from um, Beretus from Liandet from Sweden, sorry the names are quite hard, and Klaus Rusted um, from um, Danberg with his whole Leifsfabrik uh, and Leifs... Uh, yeah, Rollespilsfabrik and Rollespilsakademic group. Oof. Um, and yes, first we learned that international cooperation is quite hard, you know. They have a different cult culture than we do. They're nice guys. And actually, Klaus is just an awesome um, specialist in how to communicate with, uh, with people. I'm not as of here. And he somehow managed to uh, help us to get all the problems um, in the first hand um, solved in how to communicate with players abroad, how to make this work done. And we learned how to create a project with people from the whole world. Probably from the whole world. Because our audience was special too. With players, we had like 190 participants, from which about 138 were players. Um, there's NPCs and helpers um, from many, many different countries. The players were from nine countries, the rest was like 11 or so. Um, so we had some cultural differences. The only thing that wasn't different was the party afterwards. The rest, well, um, we, I, we have, uh, I have a problem point tomorrow around about um, cultural differences. There are many of them. We had to uh, learn that things like um, sexuality and gender and actually um, how to call a boy or a girl are no problem for us. These are big problems for um, players from Sweden, for example. We had to learn that um, there are very different culture, cultures of drinking alcohol. We had to learn that there are different cultures of um, writing roles. And this was quite fascinating because there are huge differences. For example, we had to manage. Both like it when they have little events of things going on, explosions, actions on Swedish players, for example, or Danish players, some of them, or most most uh, Norwegian players, likes to not have nothing. The less events, the better. They won't have free space, a big sandbox. They can play their own pre-scripted uh, events. They create by their own and don't want to have us involved. It's quite easy to love them in this way, but it's different. And many, many other things I will talk about tomorrow, but learn to create something which gained additional fame. Yes, Bilotto was the, the, uh, the site we uh, sold our um, tickets at. The site is made for a huge concert, like a concert at ACDC or the Rolling Stones. This day, a uh, concert with we make it crush. Which we crush. 90 seconds. For this time we um, said we need to sell all tickets. Beforehand, the media, the whole world, uh, like um, Times, um, New York, New York and Daily, uh, Music Daily, uh, media in Mexico, 
Korea, Japan, Australia, Ecuador, uh, USA, Canada, blah, 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 talk about our LARP. And you know what? They did it right. So, this LARP changed something and created and opened up another dream for us all. Yes, not only we as life form or other groups doing it, um, gained something. This LARP might change the way we look at LARP. No love culture forever if you use this right. First of all, the world talks about love. Yes. People from the whole world not know learning that love is the actual word. You can spell it like L R A R P. It means something, something awesome. The world talks about Polish love. Talking about the love in a Polish castle. How often is that? I mean, after Babel, now Chocha is the most recognizable castle in Poland in the whole world. What's that? Um, so if we managed to do this step, there was one more step we somehow managed to do. It's a miracle, because not only talk about LARP and Polish LARP, it did it the right way. Okay, the Polish media are quite ignorant, and the best in Polish texts about in this, in this um, LARP were on Fogpl, Pudelek, and Onet. <laughs> dum -da -dum -dum -dum. So it's like a gossip, gossiping news for the um, following guys. Um, just the lowest of lowest uh, part of um, um, journalism in Poland, <laughs> but abroad, um, not on Times, um, yes, um, uh, USA Daily, and many uh, many other um, big things um, talked about LARP the right way, and not, not even spelled the right way. They even uh, managed to tell people LARP is this and this. It's um, playing a role. Uh, it's being part of a big adventure, it's doing awesome stuff, yes? And now people believe it, because they saw the nice pictures, nice movies, and even the big brands of um, journalism told them that uh, we're right, we're doing nice stuff. If you use this now, we can change the world. Our loving world. And I actually believe it the same way I believed two years ago that we can do a mm, fucking awesome Harry Potter LARP in a Polish castle and the whole world will look at it. At it. So, believe our dreams, because dreams come true. Thank you. Questions. We have five minutes for questions, so please. I need to correct. I just pass you the mic. Dragon. It's not working. Okay, it's okay. working. Dragon, what about Hogwarts Live? <laughs> okay, um, Hogwarts Live is a project in which we began be um, before, and the problem is that we're still trying to make it financially doable. The moment I'm rich enough to do New Age, I will also reach enough to do Happy Life and I'll do it, I promise. At the moment, I'm trying to earn money to have something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no, okay, apart, apart from jokes, we as Life still are trying to do uh, amazing stuff with Polish players. Of course, do. We are a big organization and we're able to um, divide us and uh, make different things. Um, so I promise that when I'm only able to do it financially, I'll do it. And we have a second mic? No. no There's a live stream, so please talk loud. So please ask your question loud. Okay. Uh, Jared from Poland. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, two questions. Uh, the first question, uh, did you have any feedback from uh, either John K. Rowling or uh, Warner Brothers? Yes. Yes. You had? Oh, yes, it doesn't work. Yes, we have. And you want to know this piece of Yes. Actually, I just try to speak this way. Do you hear me? Yes? Perfect. I have microphones. So, yes, we had some feedback. Um, not from Jake Rowling, but from a manager that, oh, and I think, contact one of others. That's all. And we still believe that someday Rowling will come to us, but well, uh, at the moment, she's very busy. The video from Walmart Warner Brothers was, oh, great thing, we love it, we actually love it, but unfortunately, American law is quite fucked up, and we are not allowed to give you any right to use Harry Potter officially, because if we do, then you can sue us in three years and take our trademark, because American law is fucked up once again, thank you. Okay, so but they're fine with us, we're fine with them, but the next culture will, be, um, for, um, will won't be officially Harry Potter, just like very, very Harry Potter-ish, in our own framework and so on, but it's the same game, just not called Harry Potter. Okay, so a follow-up question. Uh, do you want to stay in the Harry Potter world, or do you want to move on to uh, your own uh, IP, your own um, universe? 
the um, solution we discussed and um, took in um, one of the, uh, in our discussion with four models is to create something very similar to Harry Potter, but not call it Harry Potter. To not uh, I'm okay. Not, 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 but, 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 but just don't use the, the word of the calling called wizardry, using the hype of the trade so people understand it's Harry Potter actually. Yeah, but as so, so long as we don't use the actual um, trademark words, it's fine with them and with us. And we just do it and, and not calling Harry Potter, not calling Hogwarts, not calling um, Gryffindor. But all the rest we created, as the most of the game, will stay. Next okay. questions? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Hi, Michal from Czech Republic. Uh, you said, Darken, about uh, some cultural differences uh, between the game plan of uh, you know, uh, uh, particular countries. Yes. Uh, how do you deal with that? You know, if you said the Nordics wants to play like at the sandbox only with you know uh, small characters, and for example, I don't know, I don't know really Polish culture, but uh, you know, how do you deal with uh, these differences? Uh, that, uh, Different players want to play a different game. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, um, first, fill the microphone, please. Uh, yes, and I'll answer your question. So, um, the question how impl implies that I have to uh, tell you how well, um, fairly well, it w worked somehow. Uh, we dealt with it in this in, in two ways. First, we still did our LARP because. Um, we don't have to be perfectly fitting into what they uh, demand. But still we did a very sandbox-ish lap in the rather day way because multiple players were from Sweden, Denmark and so on. So we um, knew actually that most players want a specific kind of game, which will change for the next editions because of different players. And we somehow are fitting in. Same thing is that we um, divided the, um, the um, way we created, the, the divided space of the game, the venue. And some of the quests, in a way, that people are were able, more or less, uh, to choose which exact uh, thing of the game they want to play. More about this um, tomorrow on the, the question, um, cultural difference and how to find them, which is uh, this. But basically, uh, there are many, many uh, tools to use. Uh, dividing uh, the menu is one of the easier to tools. Questions? Just do this here to the size. Yes. Oh. Could you please talk about the mic, but um, yes, loudly? Yes, what is the next big step that Life Form is going to make? Oh, we're going to stars, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the uh, honest answer is that we have some plans, but we're not allowed to talk about them loud, loud now. Um, there are some nice cast in Poland, some of them are very, very beautiful, we want to use them, all if possible. Um, and Culture Wizardry will be a, um, a project which will um, be held every year. It's now like one twice a year. That's a whole idea. To make it um, continue and get new players and so on. So this will um, still be an actual. And we have some crazy ideas we want to realize, but at the moment we are, we are discussing it with the right uh, movie franchises and, uh, the, and the, sh uh, the shareholders, rifles, blah, blah blah, and trying to get it uh, done legally. And so we have to first the, 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 them to tell us, okay, do the luck, then do the luck. So at the moment we're not able to announce anything of it, but there are some awesome plans going on. Uh, 